had an incredible meditation this morning. And it was kind of fueled by the beginning of my, my, my online course that, that, that I, I started last Sunday. Well, Envirosomatic One is the title, and it's about, it's about um, uh, unifying released relationships to um, our Earth and the space that we occupy. And um, yes, they're, they're centering on this idea of the wave, the, 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 the wave being the, the natural way that the, the confluent um, breathing patterns and movement unite to give you a, a potential centered relationship to earth and space that leaves you free, free in the spine. And um, what was I saying? Oh, yes, yes. So, so yeah, I spent a day doing that on Sunday and it was fabulous. So it was a, a nice small group. So we got very deep with it in, and uh, it was very gentle, very deep. And um, the outcome for me um, the, the people on the course loved it, but this morning, um, after another day of practicing with it, because you know after the course I, I got clearer, after the intro workshop I got clearer in my own practice, so I was practicing it all day Monday. Um, this morning, when I was sitting, I discovered these waves in, in the thing that I was talking about, a, a, a kind of... <sighs> A kind of resonance with between space above me and the space below me, a kind of standing wave that had the dynamic of allowing me to remain still and centered wherever I choose. And uh, my, my, my place of choice usually is the heart. And it turns out that's the, one of the most sort of practical places in terms of being upright um, and being in the world. But um, in my meditation this morning, all, all of them turned up, all, all, all the uh, pivotal points, all the, all the central points along the front of the spine that are uh, referred to as chakras, all sort of um, are available as the central resonant point of this breathing wave that gives you the external experience of stillness whilst the internal dynamics um, keep you centered in that place and the outcome was, was phenomenal. I, at the end of the meditation I found myself um, laughing, laughing for no particular reason. I was laughing my head off and um, occasionally it was sort of almost turning into tears and, and it was an emotional release um, from directly from these centers. It was a phenomenal experience, and um, so it's all it's all incredibly developmental for myself as well. I, you know, my, all my courses are meant to uh, guide people in a developmental process for themselves, and um, the setting up of these things makes me go through a process. So I'm so grateful for this life path that I've found myself on. Anyway, so I'm feeling fabulous. Um, I don't know if that's any use to anyone. <laughs> Probably not. Um, but um, yes, I just thought I'd share with, with you where I'm at. Uh, maybe I should share some of the practical applications of this idea with you. So um, 